What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you the latest news surrounding Destiny 2. So let's get into it. So tomorrow we will get the Destiny 2 DLC 2 reveal stream where they basically spoil everything this DLC will offer. So if you don't want to see that then stay away from Twitch at around 10am PDT time which is around 6ish UK time. But for this stream, they have not long dropped a small teaser trailer. And within this trailer, we get a few snippets of new information about this DLC and what it will offer. And some of it looks kind of cool. Also, one of my favorite weapons ever is making a return. Okay, so if you haven't seen the trailer, here is all 33 seconds of it. So quite a lot crammed into 30 seconds, so let's get covering it. And firstly, the first thing you would have noticed is the return of the Serious Regime. Oh, I've missed you, I really have. A weapon which once dominated PvP in the early days of Destiny 1 before Bungie completely ruined auto rifles, and it was the Serious Regime's fault. But this weapon was an absolute animal. You veterans of Destiny 1 will remember those times. I'm so glad it's making a return and the fact auto rifles are a viable option now within PvP, I can see this being a great, great weapon for sure. Now we all know of one amazing weapon coming with DLC 2 to chase, epicness. Okay, so moving on and we see the first of a new enemy, Snowman Thrall. Yes, Thrall with ice on their shoulders and arms, how original. We then see this on screen, survive the hive escalation protocol. We then see a little bit of gameplay footage which also showcases some interesting things. Mainly the fact that this is, I believe, to be the new game mode, which everyone has been talking about. And to me it looks kind of like a horde mod for sure. It states clear the hive before time expires. Level 6, time remaining, 2 minutes. So this screams horde mode to me. Let's just hope it's more like a Gears of War horde mode than anything else Destiny's done in its past. Also notice the title of this yellow bar Frosty Acolyte, Unhallowed. We then see this rocket launcher wipe them out, and I believe this is a new rocket launcher, isn't one that looks familiar to me, maybe it's some kind of loot reward from this horde mode, because we all know this mode needs to have its own exclusive loot, it really does. The longer you survive, the better it gets, sounds cool to me. We then see an ogre all thrusted out, looks sweet, not gonna lie. But back to the subject of weapons and now armour, take a look at this, this titan looks like a walking sleeper simulant. Now we all know the sleeper was tired with Warmind in many instances, so it does kind of make sense that we are seeing the same design theme used on armours, I actually dig it. Also notice the weapon this titan is holding, to me it looks like a shotgun but it could also be a hand cannon, I'm not certain on that. But again this looks to bear the same design theme as this new armour and that sleeper simulant. Do you guys think this could be the Raid Layer 2 armour? Possibly the Horde Mold armor? Either way, I am excited for sure. Also look at the Hunter in the background. That weapon on his back kinda has the same shape as the Icebreaker. Hey, it all makes sense now. Frozen Thrall, Frosty Acolytes, and big old Ice Ball Ogres. Having an Icebreaker here makes sense. So you heard it here first guys, remember that? When the Icebreaker returns. Okay, so lastly we see a Hunter with what looks to be a flaming staff demolish a load of Frosty Hive enemies. For a while, I was actually puzzled as to what this might be. I thought it might be something to do with a super, but on second thoughts, I believe this is nothing more than maybe a stage weapon, like the axes within the Arkans Forge in Destiny 1. This is something you could possibly pick up on the map, maybe in this horde mode, and use for a set period of time to create as much power as slush as possible. You do see it better in slow-mo, you see it's an actual staff of some kind, and then it drops from the sky like a bag of potatoes to ruin these hives day. Looks absolutely great. I'm guessing going by this trailer that the stream will focus more on this horde mode, which I think is great. I don't want it ruining the whole of the DLC, I really don't. Hopefully it don't show anything to do with the Red Lair 2, just concentrate on a few minor things. I love to be surprised. And guys, that is it for another video. What do you think about the Sewers making a return? Also the horde mode, will you play if it's made right? Let me know down below. If you guys did enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps me out. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand. But you and I will carry on. You never get
getting right.